get a you to have a dream. Every get a you to have a dream. What that I get? Every get a girl to have a dream. Every get a girl to have a dream. Love. Every get a you to have a dream. Every get a you to have a dream. No matter how rough it be, my tough it be. Every get a you to have a Point in time, I'd like to utilize this opportunity to acknowledge the presence and the efforts of this hard-working people you see. It's a government, right? Can I get a round of applause before people cause they work so hard? Yeah, yeah. That's right, the great sounds of Kaini right there. Okay, we had we had the song by the name of Rain. We also had Get a Dream. And just then, we had a little snippet. Don't worry, you haven't missed out. You had a little snippet of a round of applause. So, of course, without further ado, let's give a round of applause for the one and only Kaini. You there? Up, oh, up. Oh, bless the love. Every time, every time. Of course, let the listeners know who is Kaini. Let them know, man. Kaini, Kaini, Kaini. <laughs> Kaini is the youth born in St. Anne and grew up in St. Mary, born in the Garden Parish of St. Anne, you know, the Garden Parish of the Marcus Garvey's and the Bob Marley's and the Burning Spear, you know, the warrior. So the old warrior rebel spirit running in our DNA. So yeah, right. that's Kaini, the humble youth from St. Anne, you know, just spreading the musical, the message, the positive message throughout the music. Definitely. Know, the globe, you know? So you're royalty, yeah? yeah? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we bought royalty, you know. For real, for real. Yeah, the sun. Jamaica is a very I I I important and influential place in the earth, you know. So I, I, I was blessed to be born in this where I was born and the whole group brought up sea, you know. So we give thanks for that and the, the whole ground, grounding and the stabilization mentally, physically and spiritually, you know, to keep a balance in earth and, you know, live life with that real purpose and true purpose and you know just try to extend love and courtesy to the growth you know definitely for real you know what kaini can you can you give a little insight on jamaica you know people who have never been to jamaica or have no connection with jamaica as such how can you explain the great island of jamaica well it's definitely some place you need to visit <laughs> if you have to visit before you have to put it on your list. It's a very cultural place, you know, a lot of media, there's a lot of marketing and propaganda media make Jamaica seems as if it's such a bad place, but it's the most humbling place it could be, it's the most loving place it could be, you know, the people and the whole culture. So the the, 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 the joy that's within the people them because it's a very it's a diverse place, number one, and the, the root and the culture that the Jamaica possesses is a place is a thing that really elevate people spiritually, uplift them, uplift them spirit on a high meditation. You know what I say? So it's like we are we are melting pot and we are we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are a place where the soil the soil produces so many great things. You know the the whole soil and the the the. the the, the roots that we possess, the spirit that we possess, because as a people that's been suppressed for so many years, for so many decades, we still stay strong and resilient, you know, so, you know. Definitely, for real. Say, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's so, it's, it's so, it's so powered down <laughs> by your place, you know, you know, so controlled, but yet still the rebel spirit, them still burn in the people, them soul, you know, and it's like, we, 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 we're, we're, the eyes of the world where people look to we're, we're so powerful on this land where we influence the whole globe so you know it, it would be only right for you to come ch check it out for yourself and see you know because a lot of people think it's such a crazy place like, jamaica oh i'm not going to jamaica jamaica oh man <laughs> not but smiles and love here you know yeah. <laughs> you know so it's just like when, when they try to tear anywhere down they try to prop use the propaganda marketing scheme and you know make it seem as if you know it's a wild, crazy cowboy town, but it's far from, you know? Definitely, for real, definitely. Very welcoming, yeah, very welcoming you know? And you have to check out, yeah, and definitely have to check out the, the, the sceneries, you know, and the root and the culture, you yeah. know, get to know the culture. Oh. You know, we even reggae music, reggae music plays such a deep, deep impact on Jamaica's culture, you know, and history. So, you know, yeah, I, I invite everybody, so I tell them, welcome to my home, you know, come <laughs> check out, come visit my home. <laughs> you know what, I'll hold you to that, you know? 
Yeah, man. <laughs> as soon as I get there, I'll be a tour guide, yeah? Okay, okay. So, of course, you know, people have just heard one or two of your tunes. How would you explain your, your vibe to the listeners? Because you're always so upbeat. But tell them. Tell them yourself. My, my, my vibe to me is, is, is what's within, you know, I, I express it. I, I love to love and I love to share love. I love to see people living in love and unity, you know. So, um... The Almighty blessed me with that gift since I was a youth, since I was a youth, I, I, I identified since I was a youth where I bring people together, you know, my vibration bring people together and, you know, I can't, I can't stray away from that, I can't hide from who I am, I'm a connector, you yeah. know, I represent balance, you know, and my, what I, I extend it to my music, you know, everything I say is very, it's for the voiceless, you know, yeah. you know, and it, the, the music that we, that we bring is to uplift people's spirit and make them feel strong and good about themselves. You know, even sometimes some of the songs may seem like they're sad songs, but it relates to some part, to some aspect in someone's life, and it touches the people in on a more spiritual aspect. Mm -hmm. So when I when I can get emails and say like my songs, like people say my songs save them life, I could understand it where, you know, um, because it's healing for me also. You know, it heals me also. So we are healing together, and there's a lot of healing we have to do. You know, so definitely. Um, yeah, that platform that they, I definitely use my music as I, I see my music as a healing type of music, you know. Yeah, for real. And you know what? You play the guitar as well, and you play it with such passion. How did how did that come about? How did you get to play the guitar? Oh man! So so when I was a kid growing up, I I I, I, I my dad gave me a guitar when I, I can recall probably like three, four, you know, not older than five years old. Yeah, you know. I, I used to, I used to pull it around like a like a car, you know, <laughs> you know, your little truck pull everywhere, you know. So you know, and I I used to make like drums and guitars out of sardine cans and fish lines and stuff like that, you know. But never know know that I grow with this obsession. Like every time I hear a song with guitar, you know, it it, it triggers something up in me, you know. So in my uh say teens now mid teens 16 15 16 I, I used to borrow a friend of mine guitar named Komar okay. in my village to Atomobel you know so I used to sleep with it and go by the seaside and just strum it and listen to it ring you know yeah. and one night I, I dreamt I was playing a song and I got up early in the early morning like 4 4 30 in the morning start playing the song and I wrote the song it was a tribute to Bob Marley called called always on my mind wow. you know and it started right there, you know. <laughs> it started right there because a lot of Bob Marley music was in the house, redemption songs, you know. Then Tracy Chapman came out years after, and you know, the, 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 the Tracy Chapman raspy voice and and her, her guitar style like really inspired my my my, my vibes too, you know. So that's where it all started. It started with a dream. I never got a lesson doing any guitar lessons, you know. <laughs> Everything wow. come natural, to me, you know. So. We're grateful for that, you know, we're grateful for that blessing, you know, most of it's told for night. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, the, one of the songs that um, kind of introduced me to you as an artist was a song called Rain. And, you know, people may have heard it through the movie Shutters. But how did that come about? Tell us a little something about it and how did it end up on that great movie as well? Oh, rain! <laughs> give that, yeah. give that. See, you know, yeah, rain is a, everything. Like it's it's so mystical. You know, I was um, I was with um, I migrated from uh, from Jamaica. I moved to New York City. Okay. Um, with nine two thousand. So we 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 there and in the two thousand early two thousand, the Shatters movie came out. So we watched it on the bootleg. For so many years, and me and my friends, we we know the scenes, we play the scenes, we act the scenes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the mid two thousands, now I was working with Big Yard label, Shaggy's label, where we were living, stand blessed up every time, you know. And you know, we 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 working. Um, I, I was at the studio, and um, I wanted a bass line played on a song for me, so I called a friend of mine named Derek Barnett. He's like one of the top bass players out of jamaica he's like really one of them top bass players you know yeah and we've been we've been friends for a while and i, I call him up tell him i need a i, I need a bit I need, I need him to come play something a, a bass line for me you know and he came to the studio and we did we did the music we 
play some music and just vibing. And he said to me that Cecil Vera is looking for, uh, no, he said Cecil Vera is putting out Shatter's movie in the movie theaters. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I know Cecil, you know, I met him in Jamaica when I was a youth and thing, you know. He used to manage a friend of mine named Nicky Silk. So I looked him up. Them time, my space was on fire. My space was the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I hit him up on my space and um, he hit me back and I dropped him my number and he called me, you know. And through the whole mystic of the vibe, when he called me the following day, he said, um, he's looking for a sad song. So I said, I have a song named Rain. He said, yeah, man, that's the song I want. You never heard it before. You never heard it before. You know, he said, that's the song I want. You know, all right, cool. So Rain was... A, a song that I produced when I was finding my direction because I used to do dance and music also. But then when you do dance and music, people are always comparing it to other people. And, you know, I wanted to, I'm seeking my identity as an artist, you know, so I just threw it where the music go. So I came to Jamaica and um, UB40, my brother used to work with UB40 here in Jamaica and he had an engineer here. Yeah. So <laughs> I went to him and I said, yo, I want to produce these songs, you know, I produced Wings of an Angel, a song called Deep Water and Rain. Rain was just a demo. Wow. So, <laughs> I sent him the song and he went crazy and he's like, yeah, man, that's what I want. Blah, 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 blah. I would say, all right, I'm going to go record it. He said, no, man, that's the way I want it, just the way it is. You know, so it was demo vocals, everything, I'm green, you know, all green and shit, you know. Wow. So, it took, and you know, it just it propelled from there. You know, it was just a blessing in my in my life. It was just so mystical how everything happens because as a youth in Jamaica, I remember Cecil Vera coming here and doing some work with a friend of mine named Nicky Silk, and we always be youth growing up and doing music, you know. And this 360 just occurred, and it's been one of the major accomplishments in my in in in, in my life so far in my music career, you know, because. When when people contacted me, when, when the movie released and stuff, you know, I started, I always know the importance of my music and my life, you know, and yeah. what, what I work for, you know. But then I started getting emails from all over the world where, you know, Facebook coming in now and, you know, everything got transformed. And this girl hit me up from Africa and she said her boyfriend bought her the, the, bought the DVD because he always introduced, him to the, introduced her to the Jamaican movies. She looked up the credit. Found me, emailed me, and tell me my music saved save her life because her boyfriend got killed in a drive by, you know. Wow. And then all these messages start coming in from all over the world from youths, you know, teenage girls, you know, then all impacting the, the songs to them. So I always knew that my music had, you know, certain powers, and the energy I put it in is to just do something like that. But when you get an email or a phone call, say, your music touch a life in a such a way and a such an aspect and a deep aspect. You know, it just give you, you know, that extra drive, that deeper med um, motivation to just go keep on doing what you're doing because it's doing a, a, a great job. If it's saving life and saving soul, you know, then, you know, ain't nothing better than that for me, you know. For real, definitely. But you know what? When you're getting that, how do you keep a humble head? Do you, do you ever feel like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, or do you just keep level? How do you do that? We're always grounded, man. You know, it's, it's a spirit within me, and um, I, I, I think you know when, when, when you see life on a greater aspect than just material things. Yeah. You know, nothing really faces you, and you know, I, 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 I like, I, I, I make music. I, I, I make mu every musician make music for the whole expectation of it being heard and being played on the radio you know and then some people start getting played and everybody attitude changes you know <laughs> you know i never really I, I, when, when when stuff like this happened to me I'm, I'm just grateful that you know somebody's paying attention and listening to the words and it's healing doing some mm -hmm. healing you know so I, I can't i never take the powers that i the, the blessings that i get for granted you know definitely you know, so Nature, nature, and life always keep me balanced, and I try to, I try, I, I try to keep it that way for <laughs> since, since I know myself. You know, for it's real. important to maintain balance. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of distraction out there, and I don't want to be one of the artists that, you know, really lead the people that must sure are not. You know, I, I'm not perfect, but I try to live my life, I live my life where, where some youth or somebody on the journey would it would be footstep for someone to follow you know like if they want to follow the footstep i'm like yeah it's not that bad you know yeah <laughs> for real. yeah it's not that 
to take that trail, you know. Definitely, definitely. So you know what? What what's your thoughts or opinions about the state of the music? Um, I want to say reggae music in particular. Are you liking what's coming out of the scene at the minute? I, you know, sir. All right. <laughs> you know, I, I. You know, I'm opinionative. I have opinions on stuff. You know, and you know, this is just my personal opinion. You know. Yeah. Um, I, I, do, I don't I don't really agree or support a lot of the stuff that I hear playing because I'm 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 I'm, I'm a person of of morals and you know morals and respect and and, and, and respect for other people too you know and the music when we and when we let me say this before I answer that question yeah when we as artists take on the role to take up a microphone and make record. You're a public figure now, and it, it comes with a responsibility. Mm. You know, some, some of it, people look at it as just entertainment. But for me, there are certain songs I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put out there in the atmosphere. I don't, I don't want to mislead people. So that said, um, I think the, 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 the music, the quality has deteriorated over the years, yeah. and it's deteriorating at, at a rapid speed. I think the quality and standards of music could be a lot better, more, you know, more beneficiary to to the soul and to the, 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 the arts of people. Because a lot of people out there look for music as for, for guidance, yeah. you know, they look to artists for guide for, for, for guidance and music and for, for poor people globally is like their school. That's where they get the information. It's their news. It's their life. It's their, you know, mm. everything pretty much. For real. So. Because of, because of, you know, the whole race for money and the material stuff and, you know, I see a lot of people, you know, switch up and, 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 and switch up on the music and start singing certain songs and certain lyrics where even in this time as we, the world is in the state where it's in, you know, right now, we need more conscious, we, we definitely need more consciousness, yeah. you know. We need more awareness, and there's a different stroke for different stroke folks, but the, I think the scale is a little bit unbalanced. That's my personal belief, and you know, yeah, um, I'm entitled to an opinion because it's public domain out there, you know. So I'm entitled to say that you know, I, we, we as a, a as a people, for where the music the music is is it, 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 it represent a certain reggae music on a whole represent yeah. certain standards. It's the people's them cry it's the people cry, it's the people them pain, it's the people them platform of getting out. So when reggae music and Jamaican dance all that people look up to and idolize so much starting because to me it looks like they, they're just copying what the hip hop artists them do. It's all about flashing and you know blinging and the mm. Disrespect and degrading of the female them and shooting and like, it's like we have too much of that going on already. So we just need to balance up that as the, the the music and the world sound is power and it reaches out and it you know transform itself and take onto life. So we, we gotta be careful of words we speak. You know, definitely. We gotta be careful of words we speak. So I, I definitely feel like the music could take a little bit of cleaning up, but we we'll see in time. You know, we right. we'll see in time. Definitely. Yeah. And you know what? Speaking of music and you know conscious music F there's three particular tunes um that are just insane that you've done get a dream change things and round of applause tell us a little something about these tunes yeah round of applause round of applause was written because that might have blessed me with a, with a, with a gift to, you know express not only my personal my my personal struggles and stuff that I go through but you know, other people. And when I look around and I see a lot of people, we do songs for mama, we do songs for papa, we do songs for... But when you look at, at look around at the situation, it's really poor people yeah. really keep um, the, the, <laughs> all the systematic mm. <laughs> We do talk them morning, you understand? Yeah. And I, I felt it was my responsibility to levitate, not even dedicate, but levitate a song for the hardworking people who really go out every day, nine to five, whatever you're doing, two, three, four jobs, you know, and I, I just want them to feel strong about themselves, you know, and feel appreciated. So round of applause was, you know, for the poor people them song, you know, people who work in art, not even just poor people, people who work hard to accomplish and, you know, 
do what they do in life, you know. Yeah. And musicians, musicians, there's an important verse in, in the song where the, when I say music with us, so youths can eat, you know. That's for the musicians, and because a lot of people don't know the amount of work and dedication that goes into the three minutes and 30 seconds of the song where we listen to our whatever time span the song lasts, you know. There's a lot of there's a lot of hard work and energy that goes into it. So I just wanted to do that song to let people know that I appreciate, I see their hard work because I'm in it too, you know, and I appreciate yeah. you being strong and going through, you know. The government, they need to pay attention, you know, to these hardworking people, you know. So that was the key, that was the key aspect of it to, you know, just open some eyes so let the people them feel appreciated and, you know, give the people them some rest, yeah. you know. Yeah, change things was is another wake up call for the people for my people them now to wake up and see that your vote don't really count you know they try to put this in the and talk about vote and vote and vote you know and i see and i observe it i don't know too much about politics but i see it's the same thing keep on happening over and then people shoot up and kill each other about votes and election and they war about these things you know so it's time to change things. You can't just get up and blame the politicians them alone because at the end of the day, it's your brother and your sister that they are gone down. It's your, it's your neighbor that you know you, that you grew up amongst. You know you're fighting over politics and ticks and all kind of schemes. You know what I mean? I say so that one with my people to stop and wake up and say, let's not wait on them to do anything for us. Let's let us, let us love ourselves for ourselves. We don't wait for nobody to do that. You know. And you said the next one was which one? Run of applause. No, that was um, Get a Dream. Get a Dream. Yeah, yeah Get a Dream is, is a wake up call from the so called reality TV shows, you know, because when you turn on the TV, if you watch anything, there's nothing really educational or uplifting or <laughs> showing anymore. It's all about these fake reality TV shows that they script to. And they're always doing the same thing. It's all, of, all about tearing down each other or bragging about something, you know, not knocking anyone else from what they want to do. But if they want to do a real reality TV show, they can follow us every day around the ghetto, you know. <laughs> you know, so I'm saying every ghetto youth have a dream. They dream to be successful in life, you know. So don't don't just, just sit and, and, and get bashed and don't get confused and distracted by reality TV shows. You know, life is much more than that than who they put on the platforms for you to watch and, and hope to be, but you'll never reach that goal, you know? Yeah. So, we want to win the SI. So, get the dream is for the hardworking people, the people them again, who I want them to realize and see that, you know, we're here putting in hard work and we don't, we don't want to get distracted. We want some things to wake up the youth and minds right about now. Education is important, number one factor. Unity is important. Love is important. You know, teach you how to love each other. Don't teach you. Sure, because everybody, live, like, like the world on a platform, they live their life chasing the American dream, the UK dream, the, all these dreams that people set up there for you. And nobody really gets to accomplish that. You know what I mean? So you work, work all your life and you never attain that dream. It's just an illusion. But if we work together now and build our own platform and love and each other, loving each other and showing that and explaining that, then you, can see, you, you see real change and see real growth. Because everywhere I go in the world and everywhere I see in the world, you know, poor people everywhere is the same standard. It's the same, it's the same standard of life where in the poorer community, in, 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 in the minority communities, it's all liquor stores and churches. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> Every corner is liquor stores and churches. The, the food that they eat is unhealthy. You know, so the food you eat, you're not eating anything substance. They only want to keep your life to be a slave. You know, so we want to break free from them, from them bandages. You know what I mean? I say systematic bandage that's been holding on the people for all these years. So it's changing time. And who can, who can wake up and see that right about now? I'm sorry for them, you know? Mm. <laughs> that deserves one of them, man. <laughs> for real. <laughs> It's a job of bump on it. You yeah, know? for real, for real. Yes, sir. So you know what? What do you like to do in your spare time apart from dancing in the rain? Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're the smart like that. Oh, yeah, you're man. Dance. Okay. Besides from dancing in the rain, like my my spare time, I spend it like in in my everyday life is pretty much you know 
rivers, mountain beaches, rivers, mountain beaches, you know, spend, I do, I like to travel and meet people, and, you know, share experiences, you know, like, I like to reason with elders who, you know, live life and have some wisdom and mm. keep us grounded, you know, I love spending time with the youths, them, you know, yeah, um, yeah I, I, I try, I try my best to, you know, spend quality time with the youths, them, reason with them and, you know, just keep them on track and let them know that, you know, there, there, there's a big wild out world out there waiting for them, you know. And, you know, like, my, my, I, live, I live a simple life, you know. I, I like having fun, you know. I, lo I love having fun too. I, I like, I still ride bicycles and skateboards yeah. and, <laughs> yeah. So I do those things in my spare time, you know. But majority, yeah, majority of the times I'm just like at the, at the ocean, at the, at the riverside, just what in our vibes meditation i'm i'm into i'm into yoga now i'm a student so i'm learning and you know always evolving i spend time evolving you know for real i like that definitely you know what my sister says can you say hello to her her name is natasha but she loves you <laughs> ah big up natasha big up natasha i love you shy man we here man we we human beings, you know, <laughs> we spiritual beings having a human experience, you know, so oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much for the love and support, Empress. Every time. So what's your favorite color? Let's, let's go a bit, bit into you now. What's your favorite color? Ah, that's a tricky one. You, they, they, said, they, they, they tell you to ask me that question earlier. You try to trick me. <laughs> you know my favorite, like, I, 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 I love earthly colors. I like earthly colors, you know. I, I like, um, you know, I, I, I'm a big lover of white. White. I like wearing white, you know. Yeah. But um, I can't wear it too well, you know. I like gold, you know, mustard colors and stuff like that, you know. Okay. Khaki, you know, yeah. I, 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 I like, yeah, natural. Yeah, I like the natural colors, you know. Yeah, we keep yeah. it simple, you know? Yeah, man, definitely. <laughs> and then what would you say is your spirit animal? Mm. Ah. <laughs> I'm getting you today. <laughs> well, I, I, I always see myself like a, a big, like a lion. I always have this lion, this fighter spirit, you know? And, you know, when I get to... What 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 antelope? What's 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 what the animal? I think it's an antelope or something like that. Okay. You know, yeah, big animals. You know, I I I I'm I'm like a bear. You know, I always see bears and t like lions in my in, in my in my in my visions too. Sometimes I hold a meditation. I just always feel like I'm a lion, though. You know. Yeah. You know, fearless, fearless and but still humble and you know just move at own pace. You know, just step it. <laughs> yeah. Umber lion, but you don't want to get the umber lion cross, you know? Definitely. <laughs> you end up dead. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. End up being lion food, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, yeah. before I ask you to sing a little something, you know, what would be your superpower? Mm. My, uh, I, I, want, I, want, I want, like, probably three superpowers, right? I like the invisibility, you know. Okay. I wish I could just be, yeah, you know, invisible, you know. And I love, I love flying. I love flying and soaring. I, I always vision myself soaring high. But even though I'm afraid of heights, <laughs> I'm sure. But in my vision, I'm always soaring. So I wish I could. Uh, uh, yeah, my superpower would be flying, invisibility, and you know, bulletproof. Okay. Yeah, guys. <laughs> to do the to do the job that I have to do in this earth, I would definitely I have to be bulletproof. You know. <laughs> well, wow, <laughs> definitely. Mm -hmm. So of course, you know, we're coming to kind of. I'm a black man. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So of course, you know, <laughs> before we kind of come to the end of the interview, would you be up for singing a little something for the listeners out there? Mm. Oh man! I always want to put me on the spot like this. All right, of cool. Course. One second. Let me get my because hey, we have the, we are uh, number one. I want I want I want to before I go. I want to let the people them know that we have this new single oh, that's all right now with me and my local brother Prince Talib. As I rise, yeah. Go check that out. Yes, you know, check out the videos, share the videos, then. Then, but we um we have a few songs and that's coming out for the new year. We're gonna get it up. Just say, spirit strong. Yeah. Why them no see we make it in life, they want to steal the chance. 
All them I try to control me, I'm still in charge. Look where the journey's coming from. Hard work is paying off. Them can't kill me, dream I with spirit, car with spirit strong. Why them no want you to make it in life, them want to steal them job. All them I try to control, which are just still in charge. Look where that journey's coming from. Hard work is paying off. Them can't kill me, dream I with spirit, cause the spirit strong. No little time, them try to draw me up. No little time, them try to pull it up. Every time I raise my head above the water, someone I try so hard to swim drown. Me not be raise a single and be hurt them. Just leave them to them on a sword. I won't turn my back on my purpose now. That's why me choose to chat me on a road. While me know enough, no mean me no go. Deep in all them heart, them would have killed me if them could. Mm. They're not even the most away I fool. But come on, yet we know them see the get to you, them cup of fool. They get to you, them cup of fool. So them now I see we make it in life, they want to see we chat. All them I try to control, we got just feeling tired. Look where the journey's coming from. Hard work is paying off. Them can't kill me, dream or with spirit, because the spirit's strong. So me tell the people them to keep them spirit strong and them feet strong, you know? Because them can't kill it all. Jai's still in charge, you know? Yes, you know what, Kaini? What are you It's always a blessing. But you know what? Are you up for a challenge? <laughs> I like a challenge. I'm up for a challenge. Okay, then. <laughs> so, I'm going to challenge you, yeah? For a tune that you do maybe next year or something like that, you have to include my name in any song you do. One of the songs. All right, I got you. You think you can do it? <laughs> DJ Cat, right now, freestyle. <laughs> okay, drop it. <laughs> she want to, you want, so you want something with the name of it? You want, want something with the name call on it, right? Yeah, why not? All right. Mm. Can I get a round of applause? DJ Cat always works so hard. She works so hard. Standing ovation for the catalyst because she always works so hard. Can I get a round of applause? DJ Cat always works so hard. Works so hard. Standing ovation for the catalyst because she always works so hard. I the king I represent them better know no. <laughs> them better know. <laughs> yeah, for real. You know what? It's always a pleasure. And you know, just keep being a soldier, keep doing everything you're doing, cause your music is fire for real. Give thanks, Empress, and you keep on spreading the joy and the love through the music likewise and keep on putting the positive work same way, you know. You know, Definitely. We, are, we know there's real lion and lioness out there that put in the work and campaigning the good music and the good vibration, you know. And I just want to thank you for having me on your platform today. And we want to thank everybody who tuned in. And we want to thank all the people who are streaming through the station, them set speed and the one harmony, likewise, the whole family, you know. Definitely. Uh, the people radio vibes, you know. Yeah, man. So we're grateful for every opportunity to spread the love. And I just want to thank the people and for them listening here. And go check out the new tune they bought as I rise, Prince Talib and Kaini. You know, man, said, check out the video, share it, please, please. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kaini King. And no, said, New Year is the album coming at you. Big up to Water the Plant label, my lip loan in California. Big up on yourself. We have some great music coming at you. And if you want, you can go check out. Um, Water the plant also you can check out Water the Plant and um the song the the the, 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 the one of the first singles that's coming off of the album Let Love Lead the Way with um Bobby Castro and um Wise Intelligent Crazy Rappers. Wow. Go check out the video. It's a real you can check it out on, on the YouTube channel right now too. You know, so let love lead the way at Water the Plant. For um, real. Don't forget, you know, when when everything opens up, Jamaica's open. We can uh, we can link up for real, yeah. Straight to your house. Mm, bless me, the magic happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Impressed. Blessings. Thank you again. Yeah. One love. One love. Every time. Bless up. Bless up.
Yes, people, please do go and support Kayini. As you can hear, he's got pure love every time, okay? We're playing one or two more of his tracks, one or two more of his tunes. Keep it locked in. This tune that I'm going to play now is the whole version of Round of Applause. Here we go.